Content over everything. There we go. Subscribe and like. I will get a Sidawa. Let us Sidawa come. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, we want to establish who God is, not only textually, but rationally, reasonable, intellect, reason, mind, and text. We want to know who the real God is who is worthy of worship. Not just any God, philosophical. We want to know who God is really worthy of worship. The God that you worship, in the concept that you have, whether you are a Trinitarian or Unitarian, it's whatever only you are. Sorry? It's only so so in, in, in planet Earth, there's no Unitarian Christians? There are Unitarians, but they're not Christians. Oh, so they might consider you not Christians yeah. because you're a Trinitarian. Their opinion doesn't matter. Your opinion doesn't matter as well. I'm sure it doesn't matter. I'm sure it doesn't matter. You see, you need to be consistent. You need to be consistent. No, no, I am consistent. Anyway, anyway, so the huh? debate, the debate. No, no, no. Relax. Let, no, no. let, let, let Sidawa come. Mansour, 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 we're waiting, we're waiting for this camera. Right? We have content yeah. over everything, which is, is which is recognized as Sidawa. Sidawa's here. There we go. Right, let's see Sidawa set up. We just need someone who's willing to do the timing. Let's begin. Yeah. So, so do you agree that we are going to discuss and debate on who God is really worthy of worship? Which concept of God is worthy of worship? The concept that you hold in your belief or the concept that we have? No. The, the debate that you were telling me on camera was about whether the New Testament showed that Jesus is God. Now you've already said that there are indications, so let us plumb the depths of those indications. I'm not interested. I already said and discussion. So you we assume, can embrace what you're saying. So we can embrace what you're saying. Let us also include what the Quran says about Jesus as well. This is the how it's not going to work. I am not interested. And so is running away, guys. I am not interested in your assumed belief about my position. I clearly said what my position is, and I said if you really want to debate. Who you worship, let's do that. Because what is the most central, what is the most crucial thing about salvation? Having the right concept of God. If you fail in getting the right concept of God, is that going to save you in the hereafter? No, you not If you will not. So what I'm proposing to you, if you are not going to run away, using your one words, if you are man enough to stand up to the challenge, let us discuss and debate which concepts of God, between yours and mine, Mansour. is the right concept? Mansour. Who indeed is worthy of worship? Mansour. Are you up for this? Challenge? Mansour has already run away from my debate. See, Mansour has already run away, away from my debate. Mansour is on camera as being willing to debate the divinity of Christ. It's on camera and we will edit it so that people can see where Mansour agrees to that no, debate. You sent someone back to me and said, this what will be the topic of this debate? I gave that information to them and now here you are to have that debate and you're running away. Excuse so, stop, stop, stop. hold on one second, no, no, hold on one second. Who came to if me about you, your topic? No one. You, so, again, if another you assumption. are man enough Excuse to me. debate this topic, your position is, your position that you have just stated right now is that there are indications in the New Testament that Jesus is God. I contend to you that those indications are crystal clear. And that is the proposed debate. So if I if I said there are indications in the New Testament, so we both agree, what's the other debate? The level of the indications. I'm not interested. I'm interested Running in... Running from the debate. I'm interested But it's in a worthy admission. Excuse me. And so it's a worthy admission... Isn't that, that the admission of the scholars? That he admits the New Testament... Hang on. Isn't shows that... ...shows that Jesus is divine. I think... Something that Muslims like Zaki and Ike have been denying oh, again, for years. Again, again, a fallacy... And so contradicts okay. Zaki and Ike. Okay, to call you as a cartoon because you don't give your name. So, Mr. Cartoon, you seem to be... Only speaking with people who you think that they're the scholars, your scholars, the secular scholars, have already put forward the stuff of Christology and the New Testament. So you assume the Muslims that you speak to, that's it. They are the you know the sayers, they, they are the spokesperson of scholarship. Scholarship tells us what the New Testament indicates as to what Christ is depicted as. So what I'm saying, 
having understood this scholarship on this issue, you both and you and I agree that there are indications within it. What I'm interested in, the Quranic refutation of the belief that Christ is God, Quranic refutation that God is a trinity. So we are now back to a position where we need to uphold and justify our faith, whether God is a trinity, consisting of Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, or God is indeed God alone, without any partners. That is the debate that we should be having. You should be able to willingly admit to that debate and say, so, we are ready for that debate. Mansour, Why are you not Mansour, willing? I just offered you that very debate and you said you weren't interested. I said, let us debate what the New Testament says about Jesus and let us debate what the Quran says about Jesus. That will allow you to marshal your argument. And rather than accept the challenge, all you've done is create this red herring about me not agreeing to debate. Let us debate what the New Testament says about the identity of Christ and what the Quran says about the identity of Christ. You have your opportunity, therefore, to marshal your Quranic arguments at your own choosing. So shall we stop debating about debating and actually have a debate? Do you know what you've misunderstood? You are proposing a debate where what does our book say about God? I am saying that is not what we're going to discuss. We want to discuss having those indications or clear texts in our respective books, who indeed is worthy of worship, the true God. We need to bring the true God out of those scriptures, yours and mine. If your scripture clearly says God is a trinity, is he worthy of worship? That is the question. That is the debate that no, I'm that proposing. No, that is a different debate, Mansour. That is the debate I want You're to running to from the debate that you agreed to. No, I and you're going to look a fool when we show the you clip the where you agree. He comes along. Mansour is here. running from the debate. Right. I've never agreed to you are, debate. You have. No, I haven't. You have. Because I came up when Mansour was doing his Dawah thing of finding tourists who didn't know how to defend their faith. I came into that conversation. I came to Mansour and then doing the Dawah thing. So I came to him and I challenged him and he said, we will have a debate about the divinity of Christ. And then as he walked away making his excuses the first time we were meant to have this debate, he sent someone back to me and that person said, what will be the topic of the debate? And I said, what the New Testament teaches about Christ's identity. Why? Because Mansour had been arguing from the New Testament that Jesus wasn't God. Why was he willing to do it then against a tourist, but he's not willing to do it against me now?